Good morning. Happy Thursday. All right. Some of you in this collective are overthinking a situation. Okay. Um, overly emotional. Mm. Some of you are actually being cold-hearted and malicious, too. Not liking this reading already, people. Over a competition that you want to persevere from? Okay, look. Some of you in this collective are trying to win a competition and doing it the wrong, messy way. Malicious, cold-hearted, win at all costs. Who cares who you hurt? Mm. Ooh, very manipulative. Look there, the king of swords. Okay, so we've got both the king and the queen of swords inverted, reversed. This is a very nasty critter. Very emotionally manipulative. Uh, very malicious, cold-hearted, rude, obnoxious, ridiculous. Wins at all costs. Don't give a fuck who they hurt in the process. Um, oh, but... Ah! <laughs> okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so... Huh, this person has had a spiritual awakening. Right here, look. The Tower reversed and the High Priestess. What? Okay, so... With this, this tells me this is a this is a spiritual awakening, a divine intervention. Someone has gone through a divine spiritual awakening. Okay, um, wow, huh? You or both of you have had a spiritual awakening. So all this competition, all this malice, this terrible, cold-hearted actions, malicious, toxic behavior, all this stuff. This person has realized the error of their ways. They've had a spiritual awakening, a divine intervention. Angels have fucking said, look, this ain't how you do it, okay? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So, there was definitely a competition of some sort here uh, that this person was going to win at all costs. And they were malicious, they were cold-hearted, they didn't think about your feelings. They've had an epiphany, they've had a spiritual awakening and a divine intervention and has realized the error of their ways. I would be, I would be highly surprised if uh, <clears throat> the Four of Cups didn't pop out showing apathy here. Um, like I said, look, the star card. They've had a divine intervention. They've had a spiritual awakening. They now have faith. In the connection with you that they did not before um, I am I'm feeling like they have faith in you in other words they believe in you now like I, I feel like they didn't believe in you before or they weren't a, a, aware of you okay the star and this is how they view you the star they view you as a very intuitive beautiful person and actually have respect for you and have faith in the connection between the two of you now what <clears throat> oh yeah, this person has left all of that bullshit behind. All that toxic behavior, all that bullshit they were doing, everything has been left behind. Wow. Like I said, this to them, look at that. That is the, the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay, this was a beginning of something valuable to them. Okay, like... The opportunity was to gain something in value. Like you were a trophy. Okay? Like this competition, you were the trophy in it. But they lost the competition. You know why they lost? Because you stood your ground. You stood. You had boundaries and you stuck to those boundaries. Kudos, bitch. Kudos. Okay? You fought back. You're not going to fucking take this shit. You're not going to treat me like this. You're not going to treat me with disrespect. You're not going to disrespect me, my home, my life. You're going to come at me with respect. You're going to come at me right. You're going to communicate me, communicate with me correctly and respectfully. And this shit, you ain't going to win this shit. This, ain't, this trophy is not yours to be won. 
I'm a person. That was your boundary. You set that boundary. You are a person and you demand to be treated as such. And they lost that opportunity. And now they've had a spiritual awakening. And like I said, they have seen the error of their ways. And I would not be surprised if the Four of Cups didn't pop out. Spirit, <laughs> are they apologetic or what? Um, I, I do see that they are at a crossroads here. Um, or you or them both, that you, you are going to be at a crossroads where you need to make a decision. Okay, I do see that this person is actually making a decision right now. And I feel like that decision that this person is making is whether or not to come forward to you and apologize. That's why I, I swear if the Four of Cups don't come out, I'm going to be really highly surprised. Uh, yeah, this person's feeling a little like on the reckless side, uh, really willing to take a risk with you. <clears throat> I feel like they're making a decision or a decision is being made at the moment to do that, to take a risk and come forward and speak to you and try to apologize. I feel like they're very fearful of it because um, whatever they did was really wrong and they know it yeah see they they want to come forward with something of a stable offer to you something of value um they want to bring something forward but they're afraid so there's like there's delays in this they're not sure how they can approach you um we're dealing with the king of pentacles right here he's very controlling he wants to control the whole situation and he's very fearful of anything that's not in control he wants to control how you meet up how you run into each other, what, you know, and he's going over this and over and this and over this in his head, rehearsing, out, rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. And the King of Pentacles, by the way, is uh, a lot of Leo and Virgo energy in the King of Pentacles here. Tell me more, spirit. All right, you, oh my gosh. Okay, so he's been fantasizing about you. Um, you, you've been in his thoughts, like, but he does have other options, many, many other options. So I feel like this person is a very good looking man, um, man, woman, but a very masculine energy, King of Pentacles. I feel like they're very attractive, um, that they're, they have a lot of, you know, they're very grounded and women flock to him. Um, men or women flock to him in that they look, wow, he's, he's, you know, super mature, this, 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 sexy, uh, you know, very attractive catch, if you know what I mean. And um, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, hmm, yeah, this person is this King of Pentacles. He's also, in, in addition to being controlling, he's overly invested in his job, overly invested in making money, okay? Um, <clears throat> right here, boom. Okay, so with the Nine of Wands, there is courage here. There is persistence, okay? Um, the, this, this King of Pentacles is coming forward to you. They, they want to. They, they're building up the courage right now to do it. They're rehearsing over and over and over and over the head what they're going to say to you, how they're going to apologize. They're fearful of how you're going to react to it. They're done with all the toxicity. They're done with the narcissistic behavior. Like I said, it's like I'm a psychic. Here we go. They have detached themselves from anything toxic. Um, any people in their life that's toxic, they have ended those things. Um, oh, <laughs> here we go. Queen of Cups. So you are very compassionate. You're very grounded. You're very stable. You're very independent. You're also very intuitive. Like I said, uh, is how he views you. Um, he knows how intuitive and sweet and kind you are. You are a water sign. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, he, yeah, he, uh, you both are willing to go against conformity, status quo, uh, what's expected of you, righteous beliefs, and so forth. Uh, you're both willing to go against those to be with one another. Yeah, I see you collaborating together very nicely, working together to make this happen. Hmm. And it's coming quick. It's coming in quick. It's coming in hot, actually. I'm telling you, the communication is coming in. You're going to hear from this person. Stay tuned for part two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stay tuned. 